Welcome to Global Prevailing Voice Tea Room. We are drinking iced tea at the moment, or at least I am. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. It's good to see you. Yes, it is. How you doing? We really appreciate you. We want to say thank you to all of you that have sent us uh, your little emails and everything about the little snippets that we've been doing. We appreciate it. Yeah, the Facebook ones about our destiny, right? Yeah, and right. on Facebook, destiny. on the um, on my on the Teresa Phillips page. No, not on Teresa Phillips. On Doctor Teresa Dr. Phillips. Doctor Teresa Phillips. There's some. There, we're we're putting up uh, destiny finders, and yeah. so we want you to go there and read those and make a comment, share them, do whatever you want. Because and there's there's an awesome prophetic word on there. There's there's always a prophetic word. I know, on there. but there's a new one that she had out yesterday. Oh, I have them out all the time. That's this, okay. This was a new one. He doesn't see all that stuff half the time. I just do it because. The Spirit of the Lord moves upon me, and then I prophesy. But I have a scripture for you. Yes, amen. And Please the scripture is out of Psalms 53, verse 2. It says, God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if there is even one with real understanding who seeks for God. Now, so often when we hear the word seeking, we think we have to run and seek after God. But I think what God's trying to tell us is that he's looking down from heaven to see who he has inhabited that has made a habitation for him that he can move through to seek out those that don't know him. Wow, that's awesome. That's what I think he's doing. Yeah, I have to agree. And we're getting ready to believe for more and more souls for the kingdom. And we want to encourage you to get into your local church. Amen. We believe that we are we have entered a time and a season in which it's time to return to the house of the Lord and to reestablish and rebuild the tabernacle which has fallen down. Every time you praise Jesus, every time you go hallelujah, glory to God, every time you look up to Jesus, you summons his presence. And so that is why he said in all things, give praise. So we want to encourage you hallelujah. to be praisers. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> we encourage you to be praisers. Because praise changes everything and worship maintains it. So as you are moving into your destiny, destiny, we want to encourage you to do everything that you can do because it's in all that you're doing that God is equipping you to see what he's going to breathe on so that you can be all that you're supposed to be. How mm -hmm. about that? Amen. That's awesome. I know a story. Do tell. I know a story of a little girl named... Esther, okay. that became her name. Okay. And her name was Hadassah. Hadassah, yes. And she became a queen. Yes. And Mordecai came to her, and what did he say? He said, how do you know you were not put in your position for just a time as this? For such a time as this. How do you not know that you have not been positioned for such a time as this? This has been so big in my heart since... Oh, I mean, for over a year now, I have been ministering everywhere I go about such a time as this, that you're important where you're at for such a time as this. Amen. But we need you now to get back into the house of the Lord. As Esther stood before the king, and she ended up telling him that her entire people were going to be annihilated. Prior to that, Mordecai told her, he said, if you do not know why you've been, or how do you not know that you have been put in your royal position for such a time as this? For surely, if you do not do something about this, God will raise up another, mm -hmm. another deliverer. Yes. And you and your entire family, meaning him, mm -hmm. was going to be wiped off the face of the earth. ISIS was alive back then. And he was, Isis, the spirit of Isis was moving through Haman. And so we want you to know right now that Isis is not new. He's just lifted up his head because I personally believe that there's been a breach in the, in the body of Christ because we have found, I'll, I'll just say it, we found fault with one another. We've been wounded. We've gone through so much. So many people have been hurt over the last eight, ten yes. years. I mean, we get emails, phone calls from all over the world saying, please pray for me, I'm about to quit. We get them from young people all the way up into their 90s mm. that call us up. That sweet lady from Sweden that called me, she was 90 years oh, old. Wow. And she said, I know that I was put here, but I don't know what to do. And I said, do something, That's just right. do something. And she says, well, I quit going to church because I wasn't getting fed there. Isn't that kind of, kind of like a 
common theme, it seems like, sometimes, isn't it? Yes, but we did something just recently. While we were in England, we went to the prayer service at Windsor Castle. Yeah. And it's a liturgy. It's a, it's a, it's a written-out liturgy of, of, re, of word and response. The thing was is that while we were there, we responded with our heart because we wanted to uh, participate in the service. Amen. And the servant, the scriptures that we're reading, the words that were being said were all about the kingdom, were all about Jesus being king. It was about the glory. It was about salvation. Yes. All of that was there. But we cannot turn off our ears to he so that we only hear it a certain way. way. That's right. We have to hear what's being said because people have to hear it different ways. And don't, don't you think once somebody shuts it off, they're kind of like, they're, they're stopping the gr their own growth. Oh, absolutely. You know, because if you're not willing to be open to what the Lord's doing now, to more revelation on even the same thing, how can you grow and how can you expand, it, expand this kingdom? Not only that, how can the scripture be life to everybody if God doesn't breathe on it That's right. differently for everybody because we're all different. That's right. We all he are made us a, that way. Yeah, and he, what's really cool is that we're all in different walks. Right. We are all at different levels, different spheres of influence, different dimensions, different revelations, different places in, in the body. But all the body must work together. And the unified body is what I think Jesus is calling for in here. Looking for one, one. who seeks for God. I want to be one that is a seeker for, for him, God. not running to him to seek him. I want him to seek them, you, other people, through me. I want to seek out the opportunity to give Jesus to somebody. Amen. I mean, it's very important to us, and I know it is to you. Yes. And we thank you for everything that you do in the body of Christ. But there's so much more that we have for us. There's so much more that God is doing for us. He's getting ready to reveal many, many things. And during this time, as we are going into the elections and all the things that are happening, the Christians are going to be talked about. They're That's being right. talked about yeah. all around the world. But while we were in Europe, we heard this word several times by, by clergy that said, we are jealous of the American church. You have such freedom of the spirit. Let us not take that for granted. That's right. Let us never take that for granted because we do have the freedom of the Spirit. You know, we can, we can speak in tongues. We can pray. We can shout. We can sing. Just summons the King. Dang, amen. Just summons the King. And we want to encourage you, if you haven't done it already, to go to globalpropheticvoice.com. And what do we got here, Robbie? We want you to go and purchase the Monarchy of Heaven, the book and the workbook. Workbook. Book. <laughs> Workbook. And the actual, Book. Yeah, see, an actual title is The Monarchy of Heaven. A, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. Now, there's a lot of talk out there, outside, out there about uh, being priests and being kings. But how exactly do you, how exactly does that happen? Well, first of all, we have to know by revelation yeah. that we are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. It's not enough to just hear it. We have to know it. We have to believe it. And I do believe that we are seated with Christ Jesus Amen. in heavenly yeah, places. Yeah. And I believe if we are seated with him, now, now hear me out now. If we are seated with him, that would make the earth our footstool too. And if the earth is our footstool as well, that would mean the king of this world, who is Lucifer, because the Bible says he's the king of the world. God, Jehovah, is the king of the universe, so he trumps that. And if being seated next to Jesus in heavenly places would allow us to have the earth be our footstool, I would say that is how the enemy is beneath our feet. But we can't know yeah. that if we don't know where we're seated. That's right. That's right. And it's very important to know that, that we are royal ambassadors. Esther was not born to be royal. She came into position to save a people. That's right. And this is what I believe the book Monarchy of Heaven was released for. Because when we had the encounter with Jesus when he came into our house, he said, he said, go and save 
my people. Amen, yes. And he said, seat me in the church so that the nation would not cry for a king. That's right. And so I'm thinking, I don't know how to do this, but I wrote the book. The book, had, the book actually was 12 years of research. And it's not even enough. I'm already working on volume two because since the book had been written and now it's come out again and it's being sold out, I mean, we reordered it again, I'm getting more and more revelation. And I'm just very excited about all of you that have got it. Thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. You. And the oil, we thank you for uh, for ordering the anointing oil That's because right. the anointing oil, we are in now 18 countries. Amen. And it's, it's, there have actually been royal, actual royalty has actually contacted us to, to develop a line. And we are working on that. But it's not because we're anything other than one that wants to be seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. And we said yes. And we said yes. Very simply, yes. A simple yes is all that's needed, and God does the rest. Right. I'll never forget when I had a dream that I was going to go to Africa. <laughs> and <laughs> I knew nothing about Africa. Now, listen, this is 25 <laughs> years ago, and I knew nothing about Africa. And I said, yes, I will go to Africa. Not long after that, a um, one of the overseers from our denomination contacted me, and he said, I'm coming to the United States for the first time. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Africa. <laughs> because I said, yes, God opened the door and Africa Hallelujah. came to me. Does that mean I'm going to go to Africa? I don't know. But if God says it, the answer is yes. yes. It's always yes. It's always yes. Yes, and, and we're actually, you know, there's been a lot of prophetic words out there. You hear this all the time about people going to the nations. Oh, yeah. How exactly do you go to the nations? Now, God has provided a lot of tools that we can do that with. Yep. One is social media. And it's all over the world. You guys, you're you, all over the world. Guys, we love you. You know, you can forward everything that we send to you and hits your people who think that, you know, it, it could be a whole uh, Holy Ghost explosion, I guess. If you and we call. want you to forward, oh, and we thank you for all the times that you like our posts and forward them, but yeah. we want you to forward them because we believe that we are sitting in a place, and I'm not talking about our home, we're sitting in a place with Jesus Amen. that a message is being birthed. And we are birthing this message of the monarchy of heaven, a royal priesthood, so that you can know your place in the heavenly realms. This is just a dimension. It's not the final seal of what it is. It's our part that we're carrying. And if you're the least bit interested in knowing anything about that, just contact us. We come and we, we will even teach this, this school in your school in your in your churches. We do that. We do that with ministerial protocols. We do that with monarchy of heaven. Mm. And we're getting ready to have webinars. And we're going to be doing a webinar Hallelujah. with the school. So right. we just encourage you to keep watching and being a part of it. Amen. But remember, for such the a time, time as it, this, yeah. you may have been placed somewhere to where somebody needs to be sought out in the name of the Lord. Because right now we need to shine. We need Amen. to be in unity more than ever. And the greatest test of unity is... Do you love me where I'm at? Hmm. Do you? Oh, yeah. That's I love tough. you where you're at in That's God. Right. And we're not at the same place. Do we love what other people are doing for Jesus? Or only a certain group of people? We can't do that. No, we can't. While we were in London, people who were not filled with the Holy Spirit ministered to us. Mm -hmm. yes. If the trees can tell the signs of the times that... The rain is coming. The snows are coming. Why can't God use anything he wants? Amen. The elements prophesy to us all the time, and they tell us the good things of God, and they warn us of what's ahead. I just want you to be encouraged today yes. that the place that you have, the seat that you're seated in, is worth saying, thank you, you Lord, Lord. for all of it. And Rob's going to pray for you right now. Come on. Nope. Father, we just thank you right now for this word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that, that uh, Dr. Teresa and I get to bring these out to, to many a people mm -hmm. out there, Father. And Father, we ask you, Lord, that people will continue to seek, at, seek after their destinies, Lord. Father, let them seek after their churches. Let them go back to the churches, Lord, where they need to be filled, Lord. Let your house be full, Lord. And Father, and let them fulfill 
their call and their destiny, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Let there be a, a, a oh, oh, shut the, uh, let there be a group of people, Lord, that is after your will, Father, and not theirs. Your will. And, and to not. seek after those that are yes. that are lost, that are broken, that are weary. Those, Lord, that need to be acknowledged Amen. and affirmed you, in their position. Hallelujah. Father, those that, that, that say, you did not pay attention to me. Well, we are paying attention, attention to, to you, you. because we love you. And we Amen. want you to know that you're important to us. You're important to, to God. God. You're important Born to the to kingdom. King. And we love you. And we want you to be ambassadors of the kingdom. God bless you. Amen. Have a great and wonderful day. Peace out. Peace out. Love you. <laughs>